personal hair and scalp consultant. I was hired by your personal assistant to take care of all of your hair and scalp needs. So today will be our initial consultation. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to thoroughly analyze your hair as well as your scalp. What I will be looking for is any um, dryness in your scalp or any bumps or anything of concern in your scalp and then I will make note of them in my notebook because I'm going to be your hair and scalp consultant for now on I will go ahead and track all of the changes that occur so I'm also going to check your hair and make notes of the texture and how healthy your hair is as well as the length because next time we meet I will do the same thing and that way we can have a good comparison of how your hair and scalp have changed so as part of the initial analysis I'm going to be measuring from your forehead to your hairline because I want to track if your hairline recedes or if it starts to thin because of possible treatments or aging so we want to keep track of all of that and the reason for that is because if it's beyond the normal changes that we would expect we can make changes such as supplemental vitamins or treatments. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to do is take a look at the crown of your head here first because that's the closest, um, that's the most obvious starting point since it's the closest. Okay. So just go ahead and relax. You can close your eyes or keep them open. Whatever you prefer. Okay? Great. So I'm just checking your hairline here. I'm just going to pull your hair back a little bit as I go. Okay? I'm not going to clip it back because I do also want to see any the natural way your hair falls because I'm going to make note of that as well. So, you have a little bit of here, but it's not related to aging or anything like that. It's just naturally thinner in the section here, and that's okay. I kind of like how my hair is a little bit thinner here, but it's just always been that way, so that's normal, but I'm going to make a note of that. I'm going to be using this notebook to jot this information down. healthy. It's quite soft around the crown of your head, which makes 
sense because it's new hair. I'm going to start checking the um, this area now. Okay. Oily at all? Did you just wash it? You did. Okay. I'm gonna make a note of that as well in my notes so, so that I know what it feels like when it's freshly washed. How long ago did you wash it? Overall, the texture feels kind of the same from the crown down the sides, behind the ears. Feels about the same, however, the hair on the sides near your ears feels a little bit more kind of thicker. And that's okay. All of these things that I'm telling you about are all normal. Not finding anything that is of concern at all. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and start checking your, um, measuring the distance from your fore- from your, um, eyebrows to your forehead where the hairline starts so that I have a good, um, under- good, um, notes about that as well, okay? I'm gonna take my tape measure. I'm gonna start here. Your eyebrow.
going to do is I'm going to brush your hair so that I can see if it tangles easily or if it's easy to brush. Also, I can really get a good idea of your hair texture after I brush it. Okay, so I'm not going to brush it from here because I don't want to risk pulling your hair. So I'm going to kind of move to the side here. detangling kind of just goes through the brush here so it's rather easy to brush your hair feels good. Even the gentle tugging is relaxing when someone else does it for us. Mm Still looks pretty healthy. Most hairdressers recommend a trim every few months, but I think that before we do any type of trimming, I should give it a nice treatment so that we don't trim too much. I get to the tips of the hair it feels a little bit more dry so like the tips feel like they're dry the texture feels a little bit different on the tips rather healthy. I do see a bit of different lengths. Does 
your hair grow um, at a different pace, you do you think? Or in different parts of your scalp? Or is it from... from having a cut in layers? You've had a cut in layers before. Okay. Very good. I'm going to now measure the length of your hair. So you can leave it in. Okay? It won't feel greasy. Don't let me just shake it a little bit here. Okay. I'm going to cover your eyes a little bit and just pray for you.
concludes our hair analysis for today. Um, I'm going to check back with you in a few weeks and I'll schedule an appointment for your hairdresser to go ahead and take off um, just about a half an inch because I don't think that we will need more than that, especially after this treatment. So what I recommend that you do is that since you already washed your hair today, just sleep with this treatment in it and tomorrow go ahead and wash it.